All right, so I'm, I'm going to show how to uh, cut a more complex STL in half. So first thing I'm going to do here uh, is just select all these elements, the camera, the light, the cube, and I'm going to hit delete and file, import, STL. I will select the STL, import it. Okay, so this STL is huge. So I'm going to scale it down a thousand times. So 0 0.01, I believe. I can't remember if that's a thousand or not. But anyway, all right. So I'm looking at this model here. Uh, let me go to wireframe. Okay, so there's something inside of it. So what I'm going to do is uh, select. I'm going to go to vertex select here. Ugh. edit mode, vertex select, select one of the ver vertices of one of the vertex points of this outer area and then hit control L. Okay, so now I've selected that and then I'm just going to hit P and separate the selection. And so if I go into object mode now, I've got the outer selected and I'm just going to name it such so that it's not, uh, oops, this one's the one I wanted. And then I can hide that. Then take the inner part. We'll just call it inner. It's just good to keep your stuff organized so you know what you're doing. And then uh, Alt H to unhide everything. Okay, so for the uh, the inner part, I'm not going to work with that. So I'm just going to hide it. So I'm just using the the outer part here. Okay. Um, so if I go to front view here. I'm uh, not going to really easily be able to cut that but on the, from the front, but I can from the side. I want to have, like a, say, a nice uh, curve to the cut to cut this in half. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Shift-A and I'm going to add a mesh plane. All right. And here's how the knife project works in Blender. If I use a plane to cut through this from the side, then what's going to happen is I'm not going to be able to see the the selection after the cut. I'm going to have to make that selection manually. I'm not going to easily be able to do that with this model here. And the reason why is if I go to uh, there's just there's so many uh, faces here. I'm not going to easily be able to select the loop or easily select the half. Okay, so I want Blender to do that for me. And so, let me turn that back off here. So what I need to do to make that happen is select this uh, plane here and then go into edit mode and then go into vertex select mode and delete that. So all I have is an edge. If I just have an edge, now Blender is gonna actually select the other half for me. I don't know why, that's just the way that it works. And so I'm going to select this edge, and I'm going to subdivide it, uh, like, say, four times here, okay? And go back into side view. And I'm going to raise this to about the midpoint right there. And then um, I'm going to... Blender's got, like, a tweak mode where you don't have to hit G and then move something. You can just use your right mouse button to move it. Um, but what you need to do if you want to when you move it, when you let off the right mouse button, if you want it to basically, you know, confirm the selection like you would with a left click, you need to make sure that you go into your user preferences and under uh, editing, just make sure that you have release confirms here. Also in input, just make sure that you've got continuous grab selected, okay? But if you have it set up that way, you can just uh, RMB click on the vert and move it. So it's like a tweak mode. And it makes it a lot easier. All right, so this this cut right here. Let's say I want this smoother. Okay, let's say I don't like this this hard angle. So you can um, you can bevel a vertex point if you hit Control Shift and B, and you can you can do that. Okay, so let me uh, Control Shift and B. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I've got everything set up the way that I want. So I'm going to go to Object Mode. I've got the the cutting object selected, and then I'm going to shift select the object to be cut. Okay, 
and I'm going to go into Transform, oops, Tools, Edit. That's not it either. The reason why is I did that wrong. Okay, you select both of those. The you select your cutting object, and then the object to be cut. Then you go to Edit Mode. There you go, and then uh, Knife Project. Okay, so we're going to click Knife Project. All right, and also cut through. All right, so one of the problems here is it didn't select everything we needed. Okay, so I'm going to go to object mode and I'm going to undo. All right, so I've undid, I've undid my cut. Um, I'm going to select this. I'm going to go into edit mode here. I'm going to select these edges and I'm going to subdivide it. Okay, uh, just give it some more resolution here. See, I've got a lot more resolution going on and if I wanted I could even manipulate those I'm not going to but by giving this area more resolution that uh, with more uh, vertices then it is going to uh, select all of it so let's try this one more time so I've got this uh, edge selected shift select the object to be cut go to edit mode go to knife project all right now it's selected all of the object I want to cut then I hit P and separate the selection okay so now what I've done is I have cut this object in half using that edge okay and I've also got outer I could call this outer top and that one outer bottom or whatever anyway so if you're gonna cut uh, more complex uh, STLs with a ton of faces that would be how you would do it uh, hope this tip helped Hope the tip helped, and have a great day.